So GPT 4.0 is here and everybody, everybody is talking about it. But what nobody is talking about is that you can use GPT 4.0 as a YouTube coach. Say goodbye to all those confusion that you have with your title, your tags, even choosing your thumbnail. And that's not even all. You can even use it to spy on your competitors. That is, if you see a video that did well on your competitor's channel, all you have to do is to use GPT 4.0 and GPT 4.0 will tell you exactly why that video went viral so that you can replicate something like that and also get your big break. Now, if this is something that you're interested in, please come closer and let's dive in. So let's say you saw a picture online and you want to generate a similar picture and you don't know how to come up with a prompt to generate a picture that is similar to the one that you saw. All you have to do is to come over to your GPT-4.0 and then you're going to select the picture that you want to get the prompt for. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and select this picture. Obviously, it's a thumbnail, so I want to generate a similar picture. And to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and select this thumbnail. I'm going to come here and give ChatGPT an instruction, which simply says, generate image prompt that I can use to generate similar image like this one. Please make sure the prompt will pass security because there's a child there, so you don't want to get to the security side of things. So you have to tell it this so that it can read the picture and then give you the best prompt for the image. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and send it and let ChatGPT read the image and then give us a prompt. Two seconds later. And voila, you can see that ChatGPT has generated the prompt for us. Now, how cool is this? And all I have to do right now is to go ahead and copy this. Don't worry, I still have all some things that I'm going to be sharing with you that you can use ChatGPT for for your YouTube channel. And trust me, your YouTube channel will never be the same. It's called GPT YouTube Coach, right? So I'm going to go ahead and copy this like so. And then I'm going to go over to the image generative AI. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be using Bing. So now that we are here, I've done a tutorial on how you can sign up on this Bing. If you don't have an account, please find a link in the description so that you can watch it after watching this video. And of course, you can click here to line it up so that you can watch all this video one after the other to learn everything, everything that you need to learn to have a successful YouTube channel. So now that we are here, I'm just going to go ahead and paste the prompt here and click on create. Two seconds later. Oh voila, you can see that ChatGPT has generated the image as it is in the picture that we gave ChatGPT. Now, if you have not liked this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment section because come on, I'm blowing my own mind and I'm sure I'm blowing your mind too. Come on. <laughs> All right, so now the images are amazing and they look exactly like the one that we gave ChatGPT. Wow, this is amazing. You can see this is amazing, amazing, amazing. So with this, you can get any prompt for any type of picture you want. So if a video is trending because of the type of picture that they used on their thumbnail, you can simply get the thumbnail and tell GPT-40 to generate the prompt for that image. And guess what? GPT-40 is going to go ahead and generate the prompt, which you can then use to generate the image for yourself. Now, how cool is this? To compare this to the main image, so here is the main image, as you can see, it's amazing. You can see this is mind-blowing, right? And this is not all you can use GPT 4.0 to do. There are more, there are more things you can do. And to do that, go over to youtube.com and we're going to do something. I'm going to show you something very, very, very mind-blowing right now. Here, you're going to type in African folk tail right now you click on filters and you're going to select this week okay select this week and then you're going to come over to filters again and then you're going to click on view count so it's going to give you the folktale video with the highest number of views that was uploaded this week so here we have this you can see that this one is 24,000 views in just two days and the outliner score is 29 so this one is the highest one so far for this week so now i'm going to go ahead and click on this please pay attention so once it opens you're going to come over here and you're going to click on view full thumbnail okay Okay, just work with me, right? And you're going to go ahead and save this. So we want to find out why 
This thumbnail attracted the number of views that it attracted as regards the one that was following it, which is 11,000 views. So we want to know what's up with this thumbnail and why it got so many views. So here, I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now, if you don't have these tools that I used in getting all this information, please find the link to the video that I did showing how you can install the tools. It's totally for free. Find the link in the description or you can click here to watch it, of course, after watching this video so that you can learn how you can install the tools and start using it for this magic, this awesomeness, right? So now that we have downloaded the thumbnail, we're going to go back to our chat GPT expert, our coach, right? Our thumbnail coach. And we're going to just go ahead and upload that thumbnail here. So we are going to go ahead and click open. And then we're going to simply ask it, why did this thumbnail get the most clicks? And how do I re replicate it okay so now you can see that ChatGPT has analyzed the thumbnail and it has given us its verdict so here you can see this thumbnail likely garnered a lot of clicks due to the combination of factors that play into human curiosity and emotional triggers now there is a lot of things you don't know about youtube and if you want to learn all those things please keep following this channel because i'm going to keep giving you the tools the strategies the trick and everything that you need to know on how to grow your channel and also how to make money online from the comfort of your home so why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification so that you'll be notified anytime i upload awesome videos like this <laughs> all right so here you can see key elements of success and here you can see how it suggested how you can replicate the success and here you can see that it went ahead to give you specific suggestions as well now how cool is this now the next thing i'm going to show you is you are going to compare your own thumbnail with that of your competitor, right? So let's say you made a video on how to upload a video on YouTube and there's another person that made a similar video in the past and the video got so many views, the video did well. All you have to do is to get the thumbnail of that particular video and then also get your own thumbnail and then let ChatGPT compare and choose the one that is best and what you should do to make your own stand out. And to do that, all you have to do is come over to your ChatGPT again and you're going to come over to this attach icon and you're going to upload the thumbnails that you want to compare okay so i have these two thumbnails so now the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to tell ChatGPT to compare these two thumbnails and pick which one will get the highest click so here i'm just going to go ahead and send it now and let ChatGPT do its thing a few moments later and voila you can see the response and it's amazing you can see that my thumbnail won <laughs> so here comparing the two thumbnails the second one titled african folktale viral 2 it's likely to get more clicks here are the reasons so he went ahead and stated the reasons why this my thumbnail will get more clicks of course come on come on <laughs> If you want to learn how to design thumbnails like this, I've done a tutorial on this in the past. Find the link in the description to watch and learn how you can design thumbnails, amazing thumbnails, or you can even click here to watch it, of course, after watching this video. So now that we have this out of the way, go to chat. GPT. The next thing I'm going to do is to train chat GPT. Just work with me. I'm going to detect it out so that you won't miss it. So here I'm just going to say you are a professional thumbnail expert that knows the best thumbnail that will get the highest clicks and the thumbnail that will get low clicks. My goal is to have the best thumbnail that would get me the highest clicks ever. So I need the best criticisms and suggestions on how to create the best thumbnails in the history of YouTube. So I'm going to upload some thumbnails and you are going to pick the best based on your expertise. Now, how cool is this? Don't worry about the prompt. If you need the prompt, let me know in the comment section and I'm going to send it directly to you. So now that we have this, the next thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and send it two seconds later. All right, so now that we have this, you can see that ChatGPT has responded and it says, sure, I'm happy to help you optimize your YouTube thumbnails for maximum clicks. When creating thumbnails, there are several key elements to consider. Of course, the visual clarity, bold text, facial expressions, color, psychology, consistency, relevance, and professional quality. So now it has listed the things that we're supposed to have on our thumbnail. And then it, it went ahead to say, upload your thumbnails and I'll provide specific feedback and suggestions on how to improve them based on this principles now how cool is this so now that we have this the next thing we have to do before we proceed is to rename this gpt u to thumb 
thumbnail coach. So now that we have this, the next thing we're going to do is to go ahead and upload our thumbnail. So to do that, all I have to do is to click here and then you go ahead and choose your thumbnail. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be selecting these two thumbnails and I'm going to go ahead and open it. And then I'm going to tell ChatGPT to pick the best out of these two. Based on your expertise, pick the best thumbnail that will get me the highest click and millions of views. So I'm going to go ahead and send this. A few moments later. All right, you can see that ChatGPT has done an amazing job and it has analyzed thumbnail one and thumbnail two. And this is so incredible. You can see choosing the best thumbnail. Thumbnail one has a specific and compelling message which can attract viewers looking for detailed results and methods. And then thumbnail two is simpler and visually straightforward, which can appeal to a broader audience because it's immediately clear and uncluttered. And then the best choice is thumbnail one. It's likely to get more clicks because it provides specific metrics, 60,000 minutes watch time in three days, which sparks curiosity and promises valuable insights. Suggestion for improvement. So here it gives you a suggestion on how you can improve the thumbnail to make it even more better. How, how cool is this? Come back to your chat GPT, open a new chart. Remember, this one is GPT YouTube thumbnail coach, right? Now we are going to open a new chart and then we're going to type, give it a different title afterwards. Now we're going to train the GPT to be a YouTube professional, okay? Not just thumbnail now, but professional in tags, professional in SEO, professional in title and all of that. And to do that, all I have to do is to tell GPT, you are a YouTube viral video expert that has multi experience and over 1 billion views as proof. Write a short and detailed YouTube description for this title. So this is where we're going to insert the title. I'm going to insert it shortly, but I just wanted to give you the base prompt. Also suggest 10 title alternatives that will get 50% click-through rate, infuse the best keyword in the title and description that will generate over 50 million views. <laughs> Clap for me, right? <laughs> so here we're going to put in a title. Let's let's just put something random. So here I'm just going to put in how to upload a YouTube video. So it's going to give us a description for this title, how to upload a YouTube video for best result. And the next thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and send it and let ChatGPT do its magic. So while it's giving us the response, I want you to know the keywords that I used here. I mentioned SEO, I mentioned title, and I mentioned description. So it's going to infuse the SEO, the keywords in the title, and of course the description as well. Now, how cool is this? Two seconds later. And now it has given us the response that we seek. And here you can see the description. And here you can see key takeaways. You can make something good out of this. And also you can see that it even added chapters for you. Come on. So if you have not filmed the video already, you can use this as a guide to make the video and then use it as your chapters. You can just make some edits. And again, if you don't know how to create chapters, of course, this is how to do that. So let me know if you want me to make a video on how to create YouTube chapters and I'll do that for you. And now moving on, you can see relevant keywords. Now this is the awesome SEO that we all crave for. So this is the keyword that is getting the best visibility on YouTube. Just know how to use it and you're good to go. Just let your creativity run wild with this thing. <laughs> all right, so here you can see call to action. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Comment below with any questions or topics you like me to cover next. I'm talking to you right now. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe for more tips on mastering YouTube. And here is the best part of this whole thing. The 10 title alternative. Now this works for any type of channel, any type of niche. So be free to use it for your channels and get amazing results. So you can see the alternative title that it suggested for us, it suggested 10. You can see ultimate guide to uploading YouTube videos, boost views and subscribers, pro tips for uploading YouTube videos, get noticed fast, how to upload YouTube videos like a pro step-by-step -step guide and so on and so forth. So what I usually do is even when I love whatever it has generated for me, I try to regenerate again by clicking here. You just click on regenerate and then it's going to regenerate again and give me a different title alternatives. 
so I can go through them and compare the previous one and this one which one is best and most times I get to find a rare gem that is going to bring you to my channel and my other channels right and now you can see that it has generated another version for us 10 title alternatives and as you can see it did that amazingly well I mean this is awesome and he went ahead to add keywords to include now let me share a secret with you do you know that YouTube also listens to what you say because they transcribe whatever you say as a subtitle so they also serve as a keyword that is why you constantly hear me mention GPT 4.0 GPT 4.0 over and over again so that it can rank in search so your spoken word is also considered a keyword I don't know how to get this across to you, but I hope you understood that. If you didn't, please let me know in the comment section and I'm going to further break it down for you. But trust me, whatever you say, YouTube also listens. So you'll find people repeating the keywords over and over again. I could literally say GPT or the AI or the AI, but I kept saying 4.0, GPT 4.0 because that is what is currently trending so that whenever someone is searching for anything related to GPT 4.0 and they are interested in growing their YouTube channel, they are definitely going to click on my video. And talking about YouTube channels, here is a playlist that I've put together for you if you want to learn how to start a YouTube channel that is going to make you money from the comfort of your home without ever showing your face, then please go ahead and watch this video in this playlist and thank me later.